This somewhat whimsical video explores the so-called Mandarin Duck Formation invented by the Ming Dynasty general Qi Ji Guang in the middle of the 16th century as a way of dealing with pirate, Japanese pirate infestations on the South China coast. It's designed to use multiple weapons in a single formation and to vary their position within the formation depending on the nature of the enemy and the distance from the enemy and, and how the fighting is going. Uh, it relies on interchangeability in position with the multiple capabilities of the different weapons. We see here there is a squad leader of the squad of 10 who at its core is led by a sword and shield man at the beginning of the formation who uses his ability of, with shield and sword as an offensive component of the system. Here you see a sword and shield man practicing against spear attack and to the flanks of either sword and shield man is the wolf so-called wolf brush halberd which is a kind of handheld portable abatis that keeps an attacking enemy at a distance and presents an obstacle to their movements to outflank the formation. You can see here how it's much longer than an attacking Japanese pirate with his sword. The hal halberdman is then protected on either side by two long lancemen. Here you can see my archer friend Ana Maltese, who is also a Wushu martial artist, demonstrating the basic spear training that could have been given to more or less any peasant conscript. There's just three motions, here: the la, na, za, which stands for intercept, seize, and thrust, where you intercept the incoming spear and then thrust it down and then counter thrust in return. And you can see her now doing it in half speed. And again, each of these is a simple motion. It's not teaching a complex martial art to a peasant. This is a basic set of spear motions that are designed to protect the formation and the offensive components at the front. The final component would be the firepower. At the back of the line, we would have had uh, some form of firepower. In the Ming Dynasty, that would increasingly be men with guns. So this is the march formation in which the Mandarin duck moves forward. And here you see it shifting into a standard combat formation and now into what's called the three element formation and these formations would be alternated depending on the nature of the enemy and we also believe there would be a firepower formation that would use the crossbowmen or the gunmen moving in and out of the formation depending on the presence of an enemy threat at a distance 